Hello, and thanks for downloading the official NIV Live app. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to log into your profile and unlock all the many features within the app and provide a quick overview to get you going. Let's get started. When you first open the app, you'll be taken to Genesis. From here, you can hit play and start listening. The With new verse sync technology, now you can watch as the text is highlighted while the audio is played. The highlight moves in sync at verse level with the dramatized audio, making it easier for you to follow along as you read and listen. This makes studying scripture a breeze. Now let's check out the menu. Let's start out by logging you in. When you launch the app for the first time, you need to select My App Account and create a username and password. If you already created an account, simply enter your username and password. After your account is synced, you can log in with your username or use your social media profile for Facebook or Twitter. Once logged in, your activity will be synchronized across multiple devices. Now, the app comes preloaded with Genesis and Matthew, and you can read any of the other books, but you won't be able to hear the dramatized audio without purchasing the books first. You have two options, the enhanced version, which includes the audio for all books on iOS, Google Play, or Amazon, or the all-access version, which includes everything the enhanced version has, plus access to NIV Live web content and bonus material. Once you've selected your version, you're ready to start listening. Hello and welcome to episode two of our tutorial. In this episode, we will teach you how to navigate our app so that you can quickly jump from book to book and verse to verse. Let's get started. First, there's the quick picker. Tap on the name of the book at the top of the page. From here, you can see all of the books in the Old and New Testaments. Tap on the book you're looking for, say Matthew chapter 21, verse 46, and you're there. They looked for a way to arrest him, but they were afraid of the crowd because the people held Another way to search is to use contents. From here, you can choose either the Old or the New Testament. Then you can choose your book and chapter. This will start you at the beginning of whatever chapter you choose. Our last way to search is just that, a search bar. Say you're looking for a scripture relating to marriage. After you hit search, it will bring up every verse containing the word marriage. And by the way, at any point, if you like what you see, you can save it just like this. Rename it. Hit OK. And now it's saved in your bookmarks. They can be accessed in your main menu under bookmarks. And there it is. Hello and welcome to the third episode of our tutorial. Let's get started. Today we're going to show you how to adjust your settings. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory, but we'll give you a quick overview. Auto-download audio. 
will automatically load the next verse's audio as you're listening so that you don't have to wait for buffering. Toggling off Play Chapter Intro will skip the intros of each book and start right on the first verse. Smooth scrolling when turned on will scroll the audio as you're listening. Keep screen on will disable your device's sleep function so you can keep listening. When you enable high quality audio, you have the option to upgrade to clearer sound. This, however, will take up more room on your device, so it's up to you. The multi-column function is only available on tablet devices and will allow you to display the text in either one or two columns. Under text, you can adjust things like font, text size, color, and even adjust the color of the highlight and highlighted text. For more information on playlists, check out our next tutorial. Enabling Second Display will allow you to connect to an Apple TV via AirPlay, so you can see the text and hear the audio on a different screen. Toggling on will give you more options for your second screen. Hello and welcome to episode 4 of our tutorial. Let's get started. In this episode, we are going to show you how to use and create playlists. In the playlist menu, you come preloaded with four playlists that will allow you to listen to just the New Testament in 40 days or the entire Bible in a year. When you hit Add Playlist, you can also look online to add more playlists from our website, including the 30-day Bible Challenge. Lastly, we're going to show you how to create your own playlists. From here, you can name your playlist and give a description. All you have to do is hit Add Section. From there, you can add any book, chapter, or verse that you want in your playlist. You can add as many as you want. When you're done, simply hit Save, and you're off and running. All of your playlists will be stored right here. Hello and welcome to episode 5 of our tutorial. Let's get started. In this episode, we're going to show you how to share everything from verses to playlists. To share a verse, tap and hold a verse to bring up the selection bars. From here, place the bars at the beginning and end, then tap share. From here, you can spread the word via SMS, email, Twitter, Facebook, or you can copy the selection to paste later. Now to share a playlist, go to your playlists, tap on the arrow of whichever playlist you want to share. From here, you can share your playlist with family and friends via email. Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our tutorial. This episode is all about ways that pastors can utilize our app in their churches. However, if you're not a pastor, we think that these are some great features for you to benefit from too. As a pastor, you know very well that not everyone can make it to each sermon. But with our playlist and sharing features, you can easily keep your congregation up to date by sharing playlists via email to keep in the loop on what you covered this past Sunday. 
A great way to engage your congregation is by using our app to display the verses you cover on a bigger screen. Using AirPlay and Second Display, you can display the text and hear the audio from our app on any screen hooked up to Apple TV. Simply open the menu and tap on General under Settings. At the very bottom, you will see Enable Second Display. Simply toggle this on and adjust the settings if needed to better suit your display.